Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins. My name is Code Primate Heath Haskins. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode where I'm going to be building up some more stuff. We're going to build stuff. Because that's what we do in lumber. We, we build, and we build, and we build, until there's no more room to build. And then we destroy, and we, we explode stuff. And then we build more. <laughs> but every once in a while, all the stuff gets really messy. And this base has been messy for a long, long time. And the lag has got us today, doesn't it? Okay, try again. The lag is super lag. Here, let's just hide that under there. I won't I won't have to worry about that for a second. There we go. Ugh. Super lag. Super, super duper laggy lag. Okay, hold on. I've got uh, a pile of these over here. I'll have to find a better place for them later. But for now, it's out of the way. Ugh. Okay. In times would... In times, in times. Uh, no, no. There, there we go. Open in. All right. Um, spook wood. You have a spot. Um, this has got to sit up, please. Real quick reminder that the competition for the badges for PAX South are still going on. Uh, again, my content is family friendly. It is not kid intended. My, I, like, I don't expect preschoolers to understand half the stuff that I say or do. A lot of my jokes are kind of uh, over over the top, but you know, I'm I'm cool. I keep family family friendly family friendly content, not kid intended. Oh, by the way, I found out that mixed content and family-friendly content are two separate different things. I uh, also found out from the, um, what was it, the uh, Hawk Inc. That uh, they were doing this as a courtesy to release the claims on my videos for um, Ninja Legends. Now, I fought this all last year. I fought it like it for a long time. It's not uh, your videos with the stuff in them is allowed. It's it's a Roblox video. It's a Roblox sound, and it was forced upon us. Whether or not the the developer decided to choose to use that inside his whoa his uh, game or not doesn't matter. The fact that it's uploaded to Roblox for use on a Roblox game that is provided over other things, like other sounds, other songs, it has to be allowed. Especially if you take and record a video for your thumbnail on Roblox about that, and they provide only YouTube to upload. That would be like saying, hey, pay us for the license to use it in the games, and then we're going to strike a channel that's using it to promote that game, um, even though you've already paid for the license to use that. Anyhow, it was very complicated, and I, I'm really getting tired of trying to fight the battles of um, these copyright strikes, claims. So, <sighs> But that's why I come in here to build, is to, uh, to get away from all that and to relax and to have fun. Um, I think... I'm going to split the alpha beta into two and then I'm gonna put beta axes over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Beta boxes over here. Because I don't I don't have enough to uh Ooh. I used to have a ton. Oh, that's upside down. Hold on. I know that you uh my viewers with the OCD and there are some viewers that have OCD. If I don't put beta box upright, oh, oh, then it's gonna bug you. I know, it bugs me too. Okay, come on, dude. Uh, tell you what, let's go, let's fill these in real quick because having the um, shadows is not working for me. 
sorry, not shadows, uh, the blueprint versions of them. I need an axe first, code. There we go. I'm just using an end times axe. One of my favorite axes. Choppy chop. There's one. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. I need to push that over there. Good. Oh, that didn't... Uh. Hold on, can I chop that in two? Come here, you. Yeah. We'll use a li little bit from this one. Come on, keep choppy chop. There we go. Little bit here. Code, I have a setup for you to sign. Sweet. I, I will sign it during the video. Um, I just want to get the video made and done first. Ooh. And there's not much tonight. I mean, I might even cut it short. I've, I've been kind of doing that lately just because of time restraints and, and commitments. Plus, there's just not enough time in the day. Maybe if I did this like full time, there might be some time, but I like my job too much. I like, I like warm water and running electricity. <laughs> Sorry, I like running water and electricity. <laughs> Warm water and running electricity. Wow, Code. <laughs> what you talking about there? Well, you know. Oh, oh that did not chop at all, did it? Alright, try again. By the way, um, for those of you that watch Stranger Things, a Demogorgon does not look like the Demogorgon inside Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, if you want to see what a Demogorgon actually looks like, you can check it out inside the Monsters Manual of the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition? 6th edition? Just look up the Monster Manual. Or uh, you can always go to whoops, uh, Dungeons & Dragons Beyond, D&D &D Beyond. And they have an amazing site. If you're looking for something to work with Dungeons and Dragons, it's pretty cool. And if you're just getting into it, go out, buy yourself a set of dice, uh, get one of the modules, um, get the player's handbook, and get to d rolling. I mean, it is fun. It's so fun. I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, what's Dungeons and Dragons? That new video game?" No, <laughs> it's old school. Pen and paper. Use your imagination. It's kind of like uh, parents saying, Kid, you need to go outside and play. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. I grew up in that kind of environment where it was go out and play, stomping ground, getting out in the mud, riding your bikes around the neighborhood. The world doesn't work like that anymore. I mean, there might be some places still, but... For the most part, it is it is a digital world. I am more social and more interactive sitting in my house, <laughs> not talking to anyone, <laughs> than I ever was going out and playing with my friends. Hmm. That is so true. That is such a true statement. Like, I don't know how to take it either. Because this life has changed. I mean, for good, for bad, whatever. It's different. It is definitely different. Nowadays, it's very different than the way it was whenever I was growing up. By the way, I'm putting all the eyeballs into double category as well. Oh, gosh. The two eyeballs that are messed up and upside down and backwards. I hope that doesn't... Freak you guys out. Oh gosh. You know what? We're just we're just worrying about getting them in here. We're we're not gonna worry about having them straight. There we go. Hey Kevin. Hi everyone. Hi there. You're the one talking too much. <laughs> having fun, Code? I'm having lots of fun. I mean, talk about different subjects and everything else. And you know what? The the copyright law. Um, 
not the copyright law, but the copyright policy on YouTube may change in a few years. It, it may become something completely different. Who knows? I might become a musician and start making my own music to add to Roblox that I can use to copy claim other YouTube videos. Who knows? Hopefully I never get to that point, but I mean, that is kind of the point of Hawk. That's what they do, is they stand up for copyright laws and they get paid to uh, ensure that people are following that law. Now, they've been more than courteous and more than kind than I could ever ask for. Um, very much more than AMP Music was whenever I first got a hold of them. AMP Music, um, they had just made the contract with Roblox and I had recorded off something, I don't even remember what the song was, but I disputed it because it was part of the Roblox set and they re rebuted, they said that it was still a valid claim. So then I disputed a second time. Uh, I don't know what that's called. And they were only given two options, release the claim or take down the video. And they ended up taking down the video, which really set me off. And that's when I reached out and got the Roblox developers involved and got the develop or the Roblox legal team involved. Like there were a ton of people working with me through Twitter uh, to try and get it resolved. And in the end, it turned out that yes, a Roblox YouTube video is allowed to have the Roblox music in it. That was a long fight. And I can't believe that it's back again. We are we are sitting here having to do the same thing. Anyhow, YouTube came out with a tweet or a, a post last night and they're like, Hey, look at this new thing that we did where you can take and... and you can trim your videos so you can get rid of the music that was copy claimed. Or, or you could give us the ability to dispute it better or like follow up with it better instead of somebody else claiming it onto our video. And don't get me wrong, okay? This is, this is something, this has been a thorn in my side forever. The music that is played is not mine. And in any other situation, I would not be able to upload that to YouTube. For example, in uh, Fortnite, okay, there was some music from Walt Disney under UMG, Universal Music Group, or something like that. UMT, UMC, UMS, I don't remember. Anyhow, I did not dispute that one at all. In fact, I, I went and just cut it out of the video because a fight with UMG, Universal Music Group, is near impossible, and they don't care. They, they are such a huge, massive group that I don't know what kind of contract they had with Fortnite to put the music into the game. But I do know that any videos that were pertaining to that particular song at that particular point in time should not have been copyright claimed, but they did. Again, I don't know what the contract was. I'm not going to mess with it. Cut it out of the video. Carry on. I'm done. Uh, that was not... A, I did send a tweet out. To Fortnite about it and they have not responded back so I don't know what their legal team is doing or what their stance is on it but again I'm not gonna fight it not that one and if I hadn't put in so much work with the Roblox songs and the Roblox legal team and everything else that we did I probably would just cut the songs out of Ninja Legends as well but that's not the point the point is they have a contract with you, uh, AM, a APM, and now all of a sudden Hawk started claiming a song. So I don't, I don't know how Hawk has legal boundaries in there. So, anyhow. If you happen to work for Hawk, thank you guys so much for, for working me w in the first place. Working with me in, in the first place. I mean, they were very helpful. Uh, I think his name's Adam. Hold on. So, don't get me wrong. I do not want to make Hawk Incorporated mad. But I'm not trying to fight Hawk. I'm trying to fight Roblox and their their stuff. Well, actually, it's, it's more of a fight with YouTube. 
than anything else. And it's not really a fight. It's a clarification of what the rules are. And who knows? I could be in the complete wrong, but I was told by their legal team that videos about Roblox games with the music that they have under contract are allowed on YouTube. Period. Dot, end of story. That's what they said. And that was from their legal team. So... <clears throat> Uh, wait, that's a copyright claim. Copyright claim for Fortnite. That's the Jedi steps. Hold on one sec. <sighs> Alright, that was the copyright claim for the Jedi steps and finale from uh, Star Wars A Force Awakens score claimed by UMG. Universal Music Group. And Universal is Disney, Walt Disney stuff. Or is it WMG something? Universal. Yeah. I thought Star Wars was owned by Disney now. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Anyhow, um, let me see here. Copyright claim. Copyright claim. There we go. Adam. Adam from Identity. Uh, identify. Uh, cash, cash in? Anyhow, he's the one that sent me the message. And, and he's been working with me to release the claims. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, after reviewing the Hawk, third party has decided the copyright claim was still valid. And I put in, in there uh, Ninja Legends, another video, another rank, GG. That was the, the ninja, and it was Hunted Assassin B, uh, claimed by Hawk for a third party. So then um, he says, song is being claimed, blah, 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 blah. Uh, release claim. Uh, and then I actually wrote in this one, I said, could you please look into why these keep getting denied via YouTube dispute process? I'm experienced of going through the work process and getting them claimed and removed, but couldn't imagine the time and effort that it would take for someone, uh, some younger creator or newer creator to take and get these removed. Uh, and then Adam from Identify, claim released. Thank you for letting us know. And don't hesitate to reach out to us uh, for anything that you need. If you need anything else. So, I mean, love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. Although your comment on Twitter was a little snippy. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Uh, I, I was AFK for a second. I mean, I wasn't away from the keyboard, but I was off in La La Land. Do my little thing. Oh, I left a wire over here. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Should I split these into smaller boxes? Maybe? Oh no, they all fell down. That or somebody stepped on them. Ah. Good cold fusion. Could you please? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, not really doing a whole lot, am I? Um, there's a red ball in there. Should I, I should do red ball presents right there, shouldn't I? Maybe. Actually, let's do, uh, pumpkins, or lumpkins. And let's do, let's do two sides. Let's do one side, uh, oh, we could do four different pumpkin types. Here, I will do a large floor. And we will parse this out. And we'll parse this one out. That is going to be uneven, isn't it? Oh, gosh. Hope that doesn't make you guys mad. <laughs> that they're uneven. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We Solid wall. One more. <clears throat> I do tend to rant, don't I? But ranting is good because it gives way for discussion. Uh, especially in the comments down below if you wanted to discuss. Just saying. Alright. Let's grab these lumpkins. 
Can I please have a scoob? Wait, what? No, I'm limited on scoobs. Scoob! Oh, we didn't do it. Scoob! There he is. This bridge goes to Zombie and Goldwood? Yes, it does. Actually, uh, let's get up there and turn it. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it down for you. Yes. Whee. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking for a base tour. And I probably could go through and do one. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to do a base tour for Friday's uh, Friday's video? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. Welcome. Now, I don't remember if uh, if you're going to get stuck or not. Good luck. I think the handles get stuck on non-owners. Whitelist me. Here, jump in. <laughs> Welcome. Feel free, uh, feel, feel free to un whitelist me. I love giving people the ability to get to these different places. Like it's, it's so much fun, and building the bridges is half the fun. You know, the other part is actually going and getting the wood and, and having basically an endless supply. I don't know if you guys remember it, but do you? Were you here whenever I built all of this goldness? All of this was... I should definitely make a top to this, shouldn't I? Well, no, because then it would look as dark as this stuff. Like, <clears throat> I don't like that I can't see down here. Kind of makes me mad. I kind of wish I'd put down a blue floor. Like a glow floor. Which would be cool, but totally unnecessary. I can't believe I was able to lift that entire thing. That's crazy. Oh, look, an eyeball. Hello. Come with me. You ran away from your friends. Boom. Oh, I forgot to uh, add this wall. So, uh, let's add large floor. I'm going to go right here and right here. Good, good. Basically by dividing these um, I get more storage compartments but at the same time I don't get um, I don't get the amount in each bin. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, 95%. Really? You were 95% sure? That's okay. We'll get it. Just a nice, easy, calm day, night, whatever. Well, it's, it's nighttime for me. So, this is what I do to relax just before I go to bed. Play Fortnite, get hyped up and then come in here and play some lumber and relax. You know, that's, that's the best. Now we're going to do one here. And I need to lift these presents up and out of the way because you are too close. Uh, 
And I tell you what, once I fill up these bins, I cannot accept any more of that gift. And we'll just we'll just have it at that. That's the rule. Okay. Because this is this is more than a lifetime supply of gifts. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Oh, there we go. I know, I know, it's driving me crazy too. You're you're thinking of the walls and you're like, oh cool, the walls, they're just off just slightly. I know, they're off by one unit, but that's also why I'm alternating. Left, right, left, right, left, right. That way it looks like some kind of alternating pattern and it should fool your brain into allowing the OCD to happen. <sighs> Finding patterns and in inconsistent things. I think he's making a video. Probably why he isn't responding. Oh, yeah, I'm, I am. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Yes, I am recording. We've been recording for 26 minutes. <laughs> sorry for not talking. <laughs> it's my bad. Ah, oh, 99! It's at 99. Oh wait, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Probably, I, I couldn't do it with wedges because the, the wedges only have like one by ones. That's the smallest wedge that you can do. Oh well, okay. Uh, I'm going to go sign these guys' base. Here, outro with me. I'm just talking at this point. There we go. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Did that sound anything like Creek, Creek Craft's intro? Welcome back everybody. My name's Creek Craft. And let's get right into the video. <laughs> Sorry, he goes really fast on his intros. Um, and I, I guess I, I've kind of gotten used to doing the whole... Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's your choice. Do so only if you feel like you need to. I guess that's it. <laughs> uh, if you're looking to become a YouTuber or if you're just starting out, um, I highly recommend your call to action, which is at the end of the video. Um, if you want to do it at the beginning of the video, that's okay too. But that's the, that's the whole... It's like down below and hit the comment button and, and call to action of and that's what you're doing. You're calling your audience, you're calling your fans to action. So love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. And then you can come up with like some kind of gimmick like outro.